Welcome to the Bothy. It's been a long time since I did any sort of an update video on my um, help work, or I should probably just say my virtual pipe organ at this point, which will make more sense in a few minutes. But anyway, in order to do that, I had to kind of introduce you to the Bothy, which is the room we're in now. Now, Bothy in Scottish tradition was really just a little hut, you know, um, kind of out in the woods somewhere for. Um, Travelers to stop along the way freely and get a bit of shelter. Oh, there's a bit of whiskey culture attached to it, all sorts of interesting things. But uh, anyway, I thought it was a neat name for my little uh, my little space out here, which uh, is my bothy, my whiskey bothy, and my organ room, uh, and my cigar lounge, and, and all of those things. But anyway, this is where the uh, organ is now. And anyway, it was just part of me while I... Uh, Mix up a martini here. By the way, you want to make a good martini, you got to start with Bombay Sapphire. And um, yeah, you're going to want about three ounces of gin to hmm, hmm, maybe three quarters of an ounce of dry vermouth. And make sure it's good vermouth too. Um, yeah, bad vermouth and too much ruins a good martini and uh, of course the requisite olive and for heaven's sake don't put vodka in your martini uh, of course now I'm being all pretentious when the fact of the matter is if you were really a purist you uh, you wouldn't even shake your martini you'd stir it but you know what in the interest of uh, efficiency we're gonna go ahead and shake it today so anyway, this room that uh, the organ is in now was a uh, garden shed here in the house. Um, so I, my organ, this, this thing has moved all across the country. Uh, pardon me a moment. Mm. Oh, that's good. Well, anyways, I got married since my last um, help work update too. Um, but my wife and I bought this house. I'm back in Colorado, so my my or my help work organ has bounced back and forth across the country, different houses. And uh, anyway, I had an opportunity to get back full time into the ski resort industry here, which is really my primary career. So I've moved back to Colorado again, uh, and you're in the garden shed with me right now. Um, <laughs> I just I, I guess I, I kind of can't help myself. I have an eye for that sort of thing. I saw this nine by eighteen shed, and I said that's going to be my. Uh, whiskey, cigar, and organ room. So here we are. Let me give you the quick tour. And then, of course, as always, um, I guess I have to play something for you. And I've got a couple updates about how I have the organ set up, too, because all my Hauptwerk gear isn't actually here, at least the, the computer side of it and most of the audio side. I've got my console. My Baldwin D422 console is here. Um, but most of my Hauptwerk stuff is at the local Catholic church. I volunteer there um, and play the organ. Uh, Saturday evenings and um, anyway they had this junky old Rogers and I didn't really want to play that <laughs> but luckily it had MIDI in and out so I took all my help work gear over there and uh, so that's serving well I'm one of those old curmudgeons that hasn't even upgraded from help work before because it works it's fine and I'm in an awful environment and I just don't want to fight with the upgrade and the eye lock and all that stuff so anyway someday I will bring my help work stuff back and put it all as part of the setup here. But for now, what I'm doing at home for my practice organ is I'm just running Grand Org. You all know one of my favorite sample sets is Peter Grabowski's um, Free Sock. And he had originally released that for Grand Org as well. So that's what I'm doing. No, the sound quality isn't quite the same. Uh, the, it's obviously not as fully featured. Um, I'm not even doing um, uh, multi-channel output right now. But it's okay. It's my practice instrument at home. It sounds good. Direct audio output for recordings is good. Um, and it's good right now for me to have the Hauptwerk set up at the church. And someday, if anyone's interested, I can give you a tour of where that stuff is as well. So as you can see, this it's a gorgeous, gorgeous Catholic church um, with the highest elevation steeple in the United States of America. So if, if anyone's interested in that, let me know. I can give you a tour of, of that as well. But for today, let's just take a little look around the Bothy and let's, um, let's see uh, how the organ looks and I guess I should play something for you. So we're kind of starting with the point of view now here from the, uh, from the 
back of the bar side of the bothy and um it's not a huge room like i said about nine by 18 and it's not quite 100 percent finished i still have some trim work to do in the ceiling um but anyway that was just an open and exposed uh you know exposed joists in the ceiling or rafters so close that up with uh with wood and um put some shelving in and uh this bar i had built oh more than 10 years ago out of reclaimed wood from old picnic tables and a ski lodge in uh, at Sugarbush, Vermont, when we were going to be throwing all that away. Uh, my growing little uh, whiskey collection up there. And a uh, nice, lovely little spot to sit. And of course, over there in the corner is um, the pride and joy. Now, you can see my current audio setup. <laughs> it's really a live audio setup. This is not like if anyone's looking at these videos for advice on how to do your Hauptwerk setup, this isn't how you do it. I mean, believe me, these things will put out some serious, serious volume, but um, they're not um, they're not studio monitors. You know, they're they're horn type um, uh, PA speakers, basically um, driven by a, a Mackie head there um so much better for my guitar stuff that i do than organ stuff but for the moment like i said i'm, I'm happy with having the um the rest of the organ stuff at the church so uh anyway it works um console is still here the only problem i'm having with the console now is that the um, the memory batteries died so it's not storing any of my combinations right now and oh well you know what someday i'll replace those batteries and i'm just driving with my little ancient old lenovo laptop that's only got four gigs of ram and this little lexicon uh, lambda uh, uh, audio interface, USB audio interface, which allows me to do my MIDI in and out. Um, so it's really, a, compared to, you know, I, I had a fairly well put together setup uh, in Pennsylvania, and, and now I've kind of downgraded intentionally for the moment. Um, but by the way, I've got, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but not bad views out there. Uh, if I could turn this a little more to the left, you wouldn't be able to see it right now, but um, this Mountain Massive, one of the 14ers of Colorado. Um, so here we are. This is the Bothy, and this is where the organ is. And um, anyway, would you like to hear something? Uh, I think I'll just play for you the, the introduction to the Sweet Gothi.
Hope you enjoyed that uh, quick little update. If you are interested in seeing where the rest of the help gear is over at Annunciation Catholic Church, drop a note in the comments. Let me know you'd like to see it. And I will go over and make a video over there as well. Um, now that I've got a place here at home for uh, practicing and recording again, hopefully you'll see uh, some more uploads from me in the coming days. And who knows, maybe even a live from the Bothy conversation slash practice slash requests. Who knows? We'll see what the future holds. Anyway, hope you're all doing well. Take care. Man, I feel like I've just rambled. I'm going to cut.